Good morning. I hope you had a good Memorial Day weekend and are ready to get back to work. We only have a few days left, so let's try and stay on track, get our work done day to day. And uh, so by the time grades are due, we won't have any problems. All right, here's our first problem today. Y is greater than two-thirds X minus two. Now, if you remember the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, y equals mx plus b, ah, that's pretty much slope-intercept form there, only we've got an inequality in instead. We're going to solve this just like it was an equal sign, then we'll deal with our inequality sign, okay? So, it's as simple as doing your m, which is going to be two-thirds, and your b, which is going to be a negative two. My slope is two-thirds. My b is a negative two. Let's go down two, one, two on the y-axis because that's our y-intercept or the place it crosses the y-axis. My slope is two-thirds, so it's positive two over one, two, three to the right. Positive two over one, two, three to the right. Oopies. Right there we are. Or it is negative 2 over 1, 2, 3 to the left, negative 1, 2, 3 to the left. Because remember, um, a negative over a negative is a positive. So that will work. And oopies, got to be careful. Messed that one, didn't I? All righty. So my original equation says y is less than. Now in your lesson you'll see that if it was less than or equal to the line will be a solid line. But if it's just less than it's going to be a dashed line. That means that the actual line we're drawing will not be part of the solution. Okay, but anything either above or below will be shaded and we'll figure out where we're going to shade in a minute. So we have a dashed line. Okay. Now I need to figure out whether I'm shading above or below. So what I do is I pick a test point. So I'm going to pick my test point. If I ever can get 0, 0 for a test point, I'm going to pick that because it's just so easy to insert 0, 0 into my equation. So I get 0 for y is less than two-thirds times zero minus two. Zero is less than two-thirds times zero is zero, minus two is negative two. So, is zero less than negative two? Is zero less than being two dollars in the hole? That is a false statement. That, that, is, that is not true. So, this point won't work. This point won't work. So that means I have to shade going this direction. So that means that anything in this shaded area, not the line because it's not equal to, but anything in the shaded area will be a solution to this equation. Okay? Let's try another one. y is greater than 2x plus 4. y is greater than 2x plus 4. Well again, that looks like it's in the slope-intercept form, so let's graph it as though it's the slope-intercept form. m is 2 over 1 and b equals 4. Or that's the y-intercept or where it crosses the y-axis. So let's go up one, two, three, four for my b, which is my y-intercept. My slope is a positive two over a positive one. So it's up two over one, up two over one, up two over one. Or, remember we said a negative two over a negative one is the same as a positive. So we could go down two and to the left one, down two and to the left one. 
Now this time it is greater than or equal to. Remember if it's greater than or equal to it's a solid line. If it was just greater than it would be a dashed line. But it has that equal to so I can make a solid line this time. So as you see, this is very similar. This step is very similar to just plain old graphing. Uh, you just have to remember whether it's a dotted line or a solid line. This is the part where you have to just pay attention a little bit. We're going to pick a test point. I want to see if this point 0, 0, which is so easy to input, does the point 0, 0 make it true? If it does, I will include that in my graph. If it doesn't, I won't include that point in my graph. All right? So let's plug in the test point 0, 0. So 0 is greater than or equal to 2 times 0 plus 4. That's my test point. 0 is greater than or equal to 2 times 0 is 0 plus 4 is 4. Is 0 greater than or equal to 4? That is false, which means that, that point, that point right there doesn't work. So I can't shade that side. So I shade the other side. Now, if you notice in, if you notice in our notes, I told you that usually if it's greater than, it's going to graph more upward. If it's less than, it's usually going to graph more downward. That's another clue. Now let me just show you one more because it's just a little different. Do you remember these? Y equals 5. Well, if you recall, the most simple way to solve these is um, a table. Y is 5. If X is 0, Y is 5. If X is 1, Y is 5. If X is 2, Y is 5. In other words, Whatever, one, two, three, four, five, it doesn't matter what point you pick if whatever x is, y is going to be five. Now, it is y is greater than five. So, do I have a dotted line or do I have a dashed line? Obviously, it's a dash because it's not equal to. So I have a dashed line the whole way across. Now, I have to plug in either shading above or below. Above or below. So, I'm going to put in my test point. Zero, zero. Okay? Zero, zero. I have 0 is greater than 5. Is 0 greater than 5? That is false. Since it is false, I can't use that point. So I graph, again, it's greater than above. That's maybe an easier way to remember it. Sometimes you get points that are kind of awkward, but greater than is above. Less than would be below. Okay? That's it for today's lesson. Guys, it's not going to be hard this week. I'm making it super easy for you. So let's get everything in and on time. Okay? Bye, guys.